Hi guys. Okay, so this video I will talk about um, my favourite mascaras because um, some of you have requested for videos about which mascaras I use and which ones I would recommend um, and which ones I would not recommend. So here I have the ones I currently have now um, and I will try and um, give you the best reviews on them. If not, then that I can't. So, okay, so as you can see, I have two trays full of mascaras and uh, each mascara does different things for me. My absolute favourite is this one here. It's by L'Oreal and I have recommended this to a lot of people. Um, and why I like this is because this one is called a double extension and it has the primer, which is this little bit here which looks like that and then it has the actual mascara as well so the primer is white and the mascara is black and the one looks like this which is good for volumizing and lengthening the actual mascara the lotion isn't watery it's not dried out either it's I just like perfect. to use the primer and the mascara it's just because it does actually extend my eyelashes and it conditions and it makes it smoother for me to put on the mascara this mascara is great for if you want to curl your eyelashes or if you have um, long thin eyelashes then try this one um, because I think this one will really do the trick for you but with me I have long straight thick eyelashes and it still curls it and it lasts all day um, this mascara it doesn't smudge not for me anyway it doesn't smudge and um i have used this in um when i went on holiday last year i actually used this one and it didn't smudge for me at all. next one is this um maybelline pulse perfection the vibrating mascara and this came out i think around christmas time and the one looks like this it's perfect for uh, my bottom lashes or lash if you've got like thin lashes and you want to like separate them then get this one there's this button here that you press and it vibrates and it gets the reason for that is so that it gets to each of each and every single little strand of hair and um, it lengthens it um, the lotion itself is it's okay it's watery but it's good because then you can actually see that there's lotion in there if you know what I mean it's not dry um, my batteries actually ran out on this because my um, sister she was she was just pressing it and pressing it and pressing it when I got it, and I've not actually used it when it does vibrate. So, but yeah, I know that Lancome have actually they released one like this, and then I think Maybelline released this one after them. So this is like the cheaper option, but um, yeah, so get this if you can. So this one defines your eyelashes. So this is good for my bottom lashes. Another favourite of mine has to be this Dior one, it, it's the Dior show and a lot of people have um, had really really uh, positive feedback for this and which is why I bought this, the lotion itself is not liquidy if you know what I mean and the one is so thick it gets to each and every single eyelash and um, it's good it's so good for volumizing this one this one i applied to the top of my eyelashes and this one makes my eyelashes curl so and it smells like roses so yeah i have it in black so this one is an absolutely favorite absolute favorite for me and i would buy this again um so this type of wand is good for volumizing um, eyelashes um, it's when I do apply this to my bottom eyelashes it makes it too clumpy so yeah top eyelashes would be this one and then I have tried the YSL what's it called Evlong mascara it looks like this and the one looks like this and for this particular mascara it contains an ingredient which makes your eyelashes grow apparently but I don't know it probably does I mean should do for the price that I paid for this but I've not actually seen the difference and I've used all this I actually kept it because I like the wand so when I have like clumpy bits I can use the wand to separate it so this one is a good one if you feel like you have really short eyelashes and um, because the actual wand does define your eyelashes and I think it's like 
think it's like £24.50 for this one. It's quite expensive, but if not, if you have short um, stubborn eyelashes, then I would still recommend this one. One that I also like is the this one here. Some people pronounce it as Givenchy, some people say Givenchy, so whichever one, but here's the name for you. This one here is the, I think it's called Phenomenon, yeah, Phenomenon Mascara, and I have it in black, and I think it was L'Oreal that released one that was really similar to this, so L'Oreal one is the cheaper option. This one came out about two years ago, I've had it since, and I don't really use it just because, I don't know, it's too expensive, this one. And this one's quite hard to find as well. You can only get it in um, the bigger um, department stores. It's great for the corners of your eyes if you want to get into like the little hairs at the bottom of your eyes. So, which is good for defining. But, um, I don't know. You can get like these separate eyelash mascaras that'll do the trick. So, this one... Yeah, cheaper option is the L'Oreal, it's red, it's called telescopic, so get that one if you want the cheaper option for that one. And, whoa, my box just broke, did you hear that? So sorry. And, so, and then one of my absolute favourite ones is this one by Lancome, it's called Diffinsils. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what it says. And it's a Lancome one, and... Um, this one was, I think it was like £16.50. The one looks like this and this one has been perfect for the bottom of my eyelashes because the the brush narrows down, it goes thicker and then it, it narrows um, down so it's thin at the bottom. And what this does is it really gets to each and every single eyelash in the bottom of my eyes and it just makes them long. I've actually cracked this lid because I don't know what happened there. But um, yeah. And another favourite of mine has to be this YSL one. It's called, um, is it the false, uh, uh, volume, false slash effect mascara. And this one is one of my, this is my second one. What this does is, it's so thick. Well, the one isn't as thick as the Dior one, but it is still thick. The Dior one looks like this. So this one is your, my YSL one, the um, full slash effect, and this one is the Dior one, and that's what it looks like. These ones both do more or less the same thing. This one, is the lotion is quite thick, so you have to apply on like two layers, and um, yeah, it does actually make your eyelashes look false. And I think the reason for that is because the lotion is so thick, it makes it a bit clumpy. So, um, but sometimes I like that. If I'm not curling my eyelashes and I want my lashes to be more noticeable, then I would use this one. So, get this one if you want that effect. So, gross these. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. And, um, oh, another favourite of mine has to be this one by Clinique. This one is a trial size. Um, I've not actually been around to um, buying the full size one yet. I've had this for absolutely ages. It's lasted me for ages. It's called um, Long. Uh, it's called uh, Lash Pal Mascara by Clinique. And what's great about this is the fact that it really, really, really makes my eyelashes look really long and thick, and it feels so smooth as well. Um, this one, you do not need to use makeup remover to get rid of it. All you need is water. So when I'm actually in the shower. I just dab the water on and then it will just come off automatically. So, but the bad thing about this is when the mascara does actually come off, um, I might pull off, you might actually pull off some, um, your eyelashes off, so, which is a bad thing. But if you just soak it in the water or if you put like a wet pad over for like a 10 seconds or so and then take it off, it does come off. So this one is an absolute favourite because it feels like it conditions your eyelashes as well. So get that one. So that's it for now and um, yeah, I do have more mascaras but my time is running out so um, hope this video has helped and um, definitely try and get this one if you can. Sometimes it's on offer so get it then, um, I think it's like £12.99 or something on full price. So um, i got to get my, yeah I've got 20 seconds left, uh, keep smiling, be happy, I'll see you soon, bye.